Hey, my brothers and sisters in Christ. This is Wendy. Hope everyone's having the most wonderful day and our most wonderful Savior, King Yeshua HaMashiach. King of all creation. Um, today I'll be reading 4, 18 to 25 to go along with the word I received on 25 October. And Jesus, walking by the Sea of Galilee, saw two brethren, Simon called Peter and Andrew his brother, casting a net into the sea, for they were fishers. And he saith unto them, Follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. And they straightway left their nets and followed him. And going on from thence, he saw other two brethren, James the son of Zebedee, and John his brother, in a ship with Zebedee, their father, mending their nets, and he called them. And they immediately left the ship and their father, and followed him. And Jesus went about all Galilee, teaching in their synagogues, and preaching the gospel of the kingdom, and healing all manner of sickness and all manner of disease among the people. And his fame went throughout all Syria, and they brought unto him all sick people that were taken with diverse diseases and torments, and those which were possessed with devils, and those which were lunatic, and those that had the palsy, and he healed them. And there followed him great multitudes of people from Galilee, and from Decapolis, and from Jerusalem, and from Judea, and from beyond Jordan. Let us praise our wonderful and mighty God. Holy Father God, Hallelujah to your holy name. You are faithful and true, and you are perfect in every way. And you have taught me so much through your precious Son and your beautiful Holy Spirit. And I know I will be learning from now until all eternity. For you are so big, you are so mighty, you are unexplainable, indescribable. There's a song that says all this, but I can't remember all of it. But you are indescribable. You are so awesome and wonderful, uncontainable. I follow you wherever you lead me. I love you so much, Father. I love you so much. Your servant loves you so much. In King Yeshua's precious and holy name, Amen and Amen. I received this word on 25 October 2015 at 12.33 p.m. Daughter, these are my words for my children today. Follow me, King Yeshua HaMashiach. These are the words that I spoke to my disciples when I was here on earth walking amongst man. Do you know what they gave up when they didn't even think twice about it? Their livelihood, their means of making a living, their families, their friends. It was done completely in faith, knowing that I would take care of them. My disciples went where I went and obeyed my every word. Did I know before the beginning of all things that one of my friends would betray me? Yes, I truly did. If Judas would have repented sincerely in his heart, I, King Yeshua HaMashiach, would have saved him from his sins. But he was only repentant in himself. His heart was far from me. Children, it is getting to be so late. Time is over. This is the very calm before the storm. Israel is my timepiece. Stay abreast of what is going on in my holy land, for it will be your greatest clue to when things are getting out of hand here on earth. My children, 
Pray that the enemy's plans will be thwarted. I will hear my righteous saints' prayers. There is much trouble coming to my Israel, as you can see her enemies ganging up on her. Pray that they will bend their knees sincerely to me, their Savior, for they will believe that the Antichrist is the Messiah they have been waiting for. They will be so greatly deceived by lying wonders and boisterous tongues. My stay of hand is slowly going back down. My road is narrowing even more. If you do not know me, King Yeshua, drop to your knees and be sincere. And know in your heart that I gave my life for you and be completely repentant. My child, I will come into your very heart. You must be repentant and broken. You must. I know your intentions. I love you, all of my children. The storm comes. Be ready. Be vigilant. King Yeshua HaMashiach